frequency modulation what is the definition of frequency modulation that means carrier frequency will be varied with respect to the amplitude of the message signal so so far namm vand carrier frequency vand fixed ah irundhadu adhavadhu am modulation idhala carrier frequency vand fixed ah irundhadu now we will vary the carrier frequency with respect to the um, amplitude of the message signal with respect to the amplitude of the message signal so now fc is varied fc is varied with respect to amplitude of the message signal that means am that means what if am value increases fc value will increase if am value decreases fc value also will decrease so uh, in general we will fix some fc value say for example uh, 1 megahertz like that then once if we if you increase the amplitude okay message signal amplitude again slightly we will increase the carrier frequency from 1 megahertz then if our message signal value goes to negative negative direction then we will reduce the carrier frequency uh, from 1 megahertz that means less than 1 megahertz so that is the concept of frequency modulation so in general uh, the frequency modulation uh, say s of t we are telling s of t Uh, in general it is ac cos uh, in general it is called as theta i of t okay the entire frequency modulated signal we are mentioning like ac cos of theta i of t i am not putting theta theta i i am telling theta i that means instantaneous phase instantaneous phase and uh, remember one thing whenever we have frequency modulation by the way we will also have the phase modulation why because phase and uh, frequency are interrelated so what is phase in general theta is omega t theta means phase omega means angular frequency multiplied with the time that means when you vary the frequency phase also will vary when you vary the frequency phase also will vary so that means suppose if you are varying the frequency okay with respect to the message signal then we are putting we are instantaneously we are varying the uh, frequency that means omega i okay instantaneous means with respect to time that omega will will vary omega will vary after modulation that means phase also will vary instantaneously that's why i am putting theta i of t the moment i put theta i i indicates that instantaneous variation there will be the instantaneous variation in the angle again um, so now but ultimately we need Uh, frequency ultimately what we need we need frequency then instantaneous frequency that means if there is the instant instantaneous variation in the phase then parallelly we will also have instantaneous variation in the frequency then what is the relation say for example if i am putting theta i t okay theta i of t we know that theta i of t can be written as omega i multiplied with t again please remember omega i is also function of time omega i is itself by nature it is function of time because we are going to vary frequency instantaneously with respect to the message signal amplitude okay so that's why i am putting omega i by default it is a function of time so far uh, you might have noticed frequency as a fixed quantity but in case of fm we will vary frequency itself with respect to time okay that is the main concept here so that's why theta i of t i am putting like omega i into t by default omega i also will vary with respect to time then uh, from this i can write like 2 pi theta i can write like 2 pi okay omega i of t or, or theta i of t i am writing like omega i of t okay then uh, further i can write omega i of t like this 2 pi f i into t 2 pi f i into t okay, then theta i of t then if i need instantaneous frequency that is 1 by 2 pi uh, differentiation of theta i of t divided by t okay if theta is constant directly i can put like numerator divided by denominator by default theta is function of time that's why i am putting differentiation okay that small differentiation will take care of the small changes so that means finally fi is equal to 1 by 2 pi differentiation of theta i of t divided by dt so we are going to do something by the way we are changing we will be changing the instantaneous angle okay final angle instantaneous angle 
then from the instantaneous angle how we are getting instantaneous frequency because ultimately we need to get variation in the frequency so that means finally i am getting fi instantaneous frequency that is 1 by 2 pi differentiation of instantaneous phase divided by uh, differentiation in time that is differentiation of theta i divided by dt okay so now i will write what is theta i of t i will write what is theta i of t s of t is equal to ac cos theta i of t so this theta i of t consists of two components one is the fixed component that means always we will have some reference frequency from that reference frequency only we will vary the frequency either we will increase fc or we will try to decrease fc so fc is the reference so in general cos omega ct okay plus that variation component that variation component i can simply put like um, uh, del uh, del f i into t but uh, here it is omega component but here it is f component um, that's why again to avoid confusion i can write like this so this is the fixed quantity and i am writing like uh, del omega i into t that means uh, with respect to the fixed frequency i am increasing del w means variation in the frequency again what is del w del w is directly proportional to m of t del w is del w i is directly proportional to m of t okay it may not be direct but uh, i'm just telling sometime it may be integration of m of t something like that okay quickly i will tell how it is coming so final ac cos omega ct okay so this component uh, i'll write like this say kf integration of m of t dt okay so here you can observe one thing this is the fixed frequency this is the variable this part will vary with respect to time okay this this part will vary with respect to time so now what is kf kf is the frequency sensitivity of the fm transmitter frequency sensitivity frequency sensitivity frequency sensitivity that unit is hertz per volt that unit is hertz per volt that means what how much extra frequency we are adding with respect to per volt change in the message signal kf means what how much extra frequency we are adding with respect to per volt change in the message signal say for example if my frequency sensitivity is 10 kilohertz okay 10 kilohertz just for example i am telling if my frequency sensitivity is 10 kilohertz my carrier frequency say for example 1000 kilohertz 1000 kilohertz that means what uh, what is my instantaneous frequency my instantaneous frequency is 1000 kilohertz plus kf that means what is kf kf is 10k kf is 10k multiplied with uh, m of t simple multiplied with the m of t that means per volt change in the message signal will have the effect of 10 kilohertz change that means um, depending on m of t value say m of t may be 2 m of t may be 0 m of t may be minus 2 anything is possible again in between values also possible then what will happen if m of t is equal to 2 means here i will get 1020 kilohertz why because per volt change i will have 10 kilohertz there are two volt change so i will add 20 kilohertz again if m of t is zero means no change just 1000 kilohertz if m of t minus 2 means minus 20 okay so 1000 minus 20 say 980 kilohertz i will have 980 kilohertz so in this manner that uh, frequency instantaneous frequency will vary with respect to the amplitude of the message signal again quickly we will come back why we are using instead of simple m of t we are using integration of m of t okay so here we have to understand kf what is the unit of kf heads per volt unit of kf is heads per volt then what is the unit of message signal that is volt only again integration of dt will have the time component will have time volt volt cancel heads multiplied with the time again here also you observe what is the unit heads multiplied with the time so you have to satisfy the unit so that's why by default in the uh, frequency modulation equation 
uh, after kf directly we will write integration of m of t integration of m of t so finally what we have to remember this is the equation we have to remember this is the base equation for fm system this is the base equation for fm system once again i will write that base equation for fm is ac cos 2 pi fct plus kf integration of m of t dt this is the base equation for fm system so that means what i am varying the frequency of the carrier with respect to the message signal with respect to the message signal directly i may not be varying okay first i will vary the phase again by formula automatically the frequency also will get varied that is the concept here okay so from this uh, we will proceed uh, proceed now we'll take some value for m of t okay m of t can be anything in general but uh, we used to take m of t as am cos 2 pi fmt now we will substitute this m of t value here once if you substitute m of t value ac cos 2 pi fct plus kf integration of am cos 2 pi fmt dt again integration of cos is sin integration of cos is sin only so 2 pi fct kf am divided by 2 pi fm integration of cos is sin so sin 2 pi fmt okay now i am getting some new quantity here so uh, say kf into am uh, by definition uh, that we will call it as del f okay what is kf into am that means frequency deviation okay that too this is maximum frequency deviation maximum frequency deviation this is the maximum frequency deviation why because whenever we multiply kf with some voltage that means it is giving deviation from the center frequency here am is the maximum value of the signal so mostly they will not mention del f max like that but you have to understand whenever they are giving del f by default it is the maximum value okay it is the maximum value but del f maybe maybe instantaneously it will be varying frequency deviation will be varying instantaneously but by default del f means maximum frequency deviation that means kf multiplied with am is called maximum frequency deviation maximum frequency deviation okay so now we will replace that uh, del f uh, sorry kf into am okay with the del f with the del f and uh, one more thing um as yes, uh, now ac cos 2 pi fct uh yes so we have, uh, we forgot uh, one thing here um, in the beginning itself um, here uh, we have to introduce 2 pi uh, that we have missed this 2 pi uh, we have to introduce why because uh, to satisfy the unit because frequency here we are having frequency hertz per volt then volt time we are getting but uh, we have to satisfy the radi radian concept so here uh we have to uh, introduce one 2 pi so if 2 pi is 2 pi will be there here by default 2 pi 2 pi now what will happen this 2 pi 2 pi will cancel 2 pi 2 pi will cancel i am having kf am divided by fm by definition that kf am divided by fm uh, we are calling it as beta that is modulation index beta so beta sin 2 pi fmt beta so final equation is ac cos 2 pi fct plus beta sin 2 pi fmt by definition beta is equal to kf am divided by fm kf am divided by fm so beta means modulation index beta means modulation index fm modulation index am la mu modulation index inga vandu beta vandu modulation index so we got beta as kf Okay, KF 
am divided by fm just now we have defined what is kf into am that is del f maximum frequency deviation so beta we can also say like beta is equal to del f divided by fm okay, del f means uh, maximum frequency deviation maximum frequency deviation and this is uh, message signal maximum message signal frequency maximum message signal message signal frequency so this, okay this is the definition for modulation index definition for modulation index sometime in some book if they mention frequency deviation like this instead of del f if they mention like this del w again you have to be very careful there instead of fm you have to use omega m why right? because by default beta will not have any unit so you have to be a little bit careful but mostly uh, we'll be using this formula beta is equal to del f divided by fm that means in the unit of hertz in the unit of hertz okay um, so this is all about the frequency modulation now finally we have defined the frequency modulation so here you have to remember two equation okay one is the base equation this is the base equation and this one is the final equation so you have to remember these two equation so now i will write that uh, second equation that means in terms of beta i will write here uh, so s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus beta sin 2 pi fmt now here we have to expand this equation again before that we want to write the spectrum for this equation s of f for a transform but the problem here is here spectrum means uh, representation of the signal in the frequency domain but here frequency itself is varying that is the problem here so we are going to represent the fm signal in the frequency domain but the problem here is frequency itself is a function of time so it is somewhat difficult in case of am frequency is constant that amplitude was varying with respect to time so that is somewhat easy to express in the frequency domain that means taking fourier transform is somewhat easy but here it is little bit uh, difficult so here we have to use the bessel function concept so to express this in the frequency domain we have to use the bessel functions we have to use bessel function and again one more thing we have to analyze with respect to beta if beta is low what will happen if beta is high that means if beta is much much less than one then how to do the analysis if beta is greater than one then how to do the analysis if beta is much much less than one then that we will call it as a narrow band fm if beta is greater than one that is the wide band 